This is Andrew Martinick with Android Central. We're at CES 2018 where we have our first look here at the Synaptics in-screen fingerprint sensor solution. So this is an optical fingerprint sensor that is underneath the screen glass and works right here, all in the software here. Let's just go ahead and train a th thumbprint. And so the way this is working is that the sensor is underneath the screen glass and illuminates from underneath using an OLED panel. So it only works uh, with OLED screens right now because of that limitation, but that's not too big of an issue considering how much of the market uses these. And as we adjust here, you can see that it takes um, a moment. And this is of course all determined by the software and the way that it wants to train on top of the sensor. The sensor just provides the basic information. And so we're registered successfully there. And I'm gonna go ahead and lock. And you see that it's defined right in this little bottom area. Put the thumb on there. They're quoting a 0.7 second uh, recognition time, which is about on par with a regular uh, capacitive sensor you normally find on the back of phones. And we'll do it one more time there. And there you are. So they can put it anywhere they want, basically. They have a little component that, uh, just like a capacitive sensor on the back, just has to hook into the PC board and then goes up underneath. You can tell that you can't, well, you can't tell <laughs> that the fingerprint sensor is there. It's only there when you have to make a payment or unlock the screen, anything like that. It pops up on screen. The manufacturer can define how they want that to look. And then when you put your finger there, it unlocks. So this Synaptics uh, fingerprint sensor is uh, in Vivo phones right now. But of course, we could see this go just about anywhere that uh, they want to use it with an OLED display. So there's your first look at the uh, Synaptics in-screen fingerprint sensor here at CES 2018. Be sure to follow all the rest of our coverage here on YouTube and at AndroidCentral.com.